I think it was a very integrated, and it was integrated because of the school system. It had uh, seven grammar schools, but it had one high school where all the grammar schools came together. Now, the individual grammar schools um, had different economical situations, but we were all blended, blended together in one high school. And I think uh, that was part of the success of our country, where there was a school system that blended our younger people together. I wonder what you have to say to that. Well, I had exactly the same experience you had. We had separate grade schools where I grew up, but we had one high school. Uh, sir, what I've, what I've been trying to say to parents about this is, you are way overestimating the importance of K-12 education for your kids in terms of how much they learn, uh, as long as they're going to a reasonably okay school. <clears throat> uh, I went to Harvard from Newton, Iowa, and Newton, Iowa schools weren't particularly good. Was I behind the kids from Exeter and Andover when I got there? Sure I was. But what Harvard said and was true is these kids from these mediocre public schools catch up in about a year. And also, I went to Harvard <clears throat> absolutely ecstatic and excited about what I was doing, whereas the kids from Exeter and Andover were pretty jaded. Uh, the, 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 the lesson here is, it's, I think, and I've acted on this in my own life, I think it's much more important for your children to be raised among a widely diverse set of pe uh, people and having to have to cope with all of the, the range of situations that presents than it is that you maximize the amount learned per hour spent in school. And if you take my advice, uh, not only do I think your children will turn out better, you're going to save about 30 grand a year. So, <clears throat> uh, Right here, sir. And then I'll go back toward the back there. <clears throat> It's a privilege to get to speak with you after I put your book down. I couldn't help but wonder what's going to happen to us. Uh, and my question is, is it reasonable to think with this kind of demographic that we can make the system that we know and love continue to work? I picture in my mind's eye uh, Madison and Hamilton and talking and Madison says uh, these guys are pretty flaky Alex do you really think they can make the system work <laughs> how about it well I would start out by blaming Alexander Hamilton for a lot of our problems <clears throat> Since the Supreme Court in 1937 said Hamilton was right and Madison was wrong in, in a very important decision. Um, well, I will refer to my next book, the one I'm working on right now, uh, which is, and <clears throat> I think that limited government, um, constitutional limited government is dead that it's not going to be resuscitated because we get two or three more conservative justices in the Supreme Court. It's not going to be resuscitated because uh, <clears throat> we, we win both houses of Congress and win the presidency. I think that there are systemic things in the regulatory state which means that you cannot uh, reverse that through the political process. However, and I'm just going to give this as a teaser, all right? Number one, I think the openings for federalism are really growing, uh, that there are all sorts of ways in which the people in different states are saying, actually, we want to be left alone to do things the way we want to do them. And the second thing is that this edifice of regulatory, uh, the, the regulatory state depends absolutely on us voluntarily complying with it. And that I think that with the private resources, the private wealth that is out there, I'm not talking about random civil disobedience. I'm talking about using private resources to stand up to the regulatory state through sort of systematic civil disobedience and in de facto nullifying 
large chunks of the regulatory state because the government realizes it can no longer enforce them. I'll just leave that as a teaser. I, I have yet to work out the details, but I'm... I'm 